Hallelujah. It's such a privilege for me to share a word today. Um, and there's something that I've been meditating upon, and it's in the book of Genesis chapter 3. Uh, verse 8 and 9, it's a, it's the, it's, it is in the book of Genesis, the whole of Gen the chapter 3, when it's a here, but uh, because of time, 8 and 9, and say, and they had the sound of the Lord walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. Then the Lord God called to Adam and said to him, where are you? So I've been meditating about this word. When God asked Adam, where are you? You know, when God created man and woman, he created them for the purposes of worship. So, so he created them. First he created the garden, the garden of Eden. Then he created Adam. Then he created Eve, formed Eve, and placed them in the garden of Eden. And every day God will come and fellowship with them. Fellowship and uh, Adam and Eve would worship God every single day as we any time he will come so this time god comes come to fellowship with these people and he asked adam where are you because they were not in the garden of eden and one thing i can tell you about the garden of eden is the garden of eden was not a garden it wasn't come a shamba place evie. the garden of eden was the presence of god so when god came for them he found adam and eve they were not in the presence. So he did not ask, the first question he asked, where are you? Because God is all knowing. He already knew Adam and Eve had eaten that forbidden fruit. But he asked, Mko wapi? Wase, Mko? Because you are part of the presence, niliwaeka, to fellowship. And, you know, and so many of us, because of sin, because of falling, because of eating that forbidden fruit, we are out of the presence of God. And God is asking you today, where are you? Because the presence is still there. The garden is still there. But because of sin, sin will always take you out of the presence of God. Disobedience will always take you out of the presence of God. Because Adam and Eve disobeyed. And because of that sin, they were separated from God. And that separation is actually death. And when God say, when you eat the forbidden fruit, surely you will die. They did not die physically, but they died spiritually. Because that's what sin does to a person. When you sin, you fall and you are separated from God and you are taken out of the presence of God. Because God is holiness. God is righteous. He cannot exist with sin. So automatically, you kitenda dambi, unakuwa separated. Now God is asking, where are you? Because you know the presence of God. Return to the presence of God by repentance. Repentance. Ask for mercy. Hallelujah. Because of time, let me just leave it at that. But my question to you today, just the, the same question God asked Adam and Eve, where are you? I'm asking you, where are you? Not what have you done. God did not ask what, you, what have you done. God just asked, where are you? Where are you? Because he loves us so much. He doesn't care what you've done. All he cares is you to repent and return to the presence of God. Hallelujah. Because of time, I'm going to leave it at that. But we can continue this series. Why not? Next Sunday, same time, same place. Next, as we final. Oh, thank you so much. Mm.